Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. I'm glad you made it today. Today, I wanted to just do a little touch on what the numbers are looking like from a CPI perspective and what this could lead to uh, for the months that really matter, which would be the July, August, September timeframe for calculating the COLA for 2024. Now, if this is something that you want to hear about and you're you know, liking to just get a pulse on this stuff, please hit the thumbs up for me. Subscribe, share with a friend, all that good stuff. Now, the CPI data for February of 2023 just came out a couple days ago. And I found an article uh, that I wanted to, to go through here and just kind of give my two cents on. Uh, I'm you know, obviously not... Uh, <laughs> not an expert in this area, but uh, but I do my, my research and so forth. So in any case, this is an article by a um, uh, website that I found called 401k Specialist. It's uh, This article was completed by um, a gentleman named Brian Anderson, editor-in-chief, and uh, March 14th, 2023 is when it came out. And the title and the subtitle are 2024 Social Security COLA could drop below 3%. Looming recession could mean next year's cost of living adjustment will fall short of this year's historic 8.7% raise. Raise is a funny word. Um, I wouldn't have chosen that. Uh, maybe adjustment uh, would have been better, uh, which is actually in line with what COLA is, cost of living adjustment, uh, because all you're doing is, is breaking even at the end of the day. Uh, and quite frankly, on a whole other side of the token here, uh, it's it's not even really breaking it uh, even. At least I don't feel like I broke even. I feel like I'm still paying way more um, than 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 uh, than what that 8.7 was able to adjust for. All right. So going on here, it says while Social Security beneficiaries are enjoying a truly historic 8.7% cola raise, and again, I think that uh, his choice of words are a bit funny. Um, Enjoying the 8.7 raise? Hmm. Yeah, no, I, I don't think so. Um, needed this adjustment, um, you know, would have been probably a better way to phrase this. In any case, the largest on a percentage basis in 41 years, early indicators or early indications based on inflation trends are that the 2024 cost of living adjustment could fall back below 3%. Now remember, as long as this stuff has been being, being tracked, kind of that, uh, and I don't have the exact number, I could go through and figure it out, it's not that hard, but just from kind of what I envision in my mind, looking back in time at the, the kind of all the numbers for the given years, I would say I kind of remember maybe a two to four, maybe, percentage kind of range as far as an average would be concerned. So 3% would be in that kind of average range, um, even a two and a half percent. So, um, you know, that for, for whatever that's worth. Here uh, to go on, it says, long-term trends indicate a significant drop in the average monthly rate of inflation over the past 12 months and suggest that the next annual cost of living adjustment in 2024 could drop below 3%. The Senior Citizens League, uh, Mary Johnson, uh, I guess that this is, there's no quotations, but we'll go on. February inflation is measured by the Consumer Price Index for urban wage earners and clerical workers. The same index that's used to calculate COLA has moderated to 5.8% uh, from one year ago, according to figures released today by the Bureau of Labor Statistics. And today is actually a couple days ago. So it came out on the 14th, today's the 16th. But as Mary Johnson, Social Security and Medicare Policy Anal Analyst at the Senior Citizens Leagues points out, some prices remain stuck in high gear. Heck yeah, they do. Long-term trends indicate a significant drop in the average monthly rate of inflation over the past 12 months and suggest that the next annual cost of living adjustment in 2024 could drop below 3%, Johnson said in a press briefing released this morning. And again, this morning was two days ago. Although the 2024 Social Security COLA is still seven months away from being officially determined and announced, there is a growing body of evidence to back up the case for a much smaller COLA next year. And I will say that we all are in this, 
understanding that it's most likely not going to be 8.7% or anywhere near that that we received this year, although that would be nice and probably justified. Um, as the Motley Fool pointed out in, re in a recent article, the increasingly likely possibility of a recession is a big reason why and then it says, as a uh, recession would be expected to send the U.S. inflation rate tumbling during the second half of 2023. Social Security's COLA calculation is based on the monthly CPIW figures for the third quarter, July through September, which is federal, right? So the federal, um, the, fed the end of the federal year, the third quarter of the calendar year. Uh, if the rate of inflation sinks significantly during that time period, those three months, uh, so will next year's COLA. And let's go the other way. If it flipped the other way and the numbers were not tumbling, but instead rapidly increasing, then those are the numbers that are going to be used as well. So there's still plenty of time to stink things up and um, have, have different results, right? In any case, Many economic, uh, economists were predicting a recession, a significant widespread and prolonged downturn in economic activity typically defined as a two consecutive quarters of negative economic growth in 2023. Even before the second largest bank failure in U.S. history that occurred last Friday when the sudden meltdown of a high-tech lender in Silicon Valley Bank uh, at the high-tech lender, Silicon Valley Bank, was revealed. Uh, Brad McMillan, chief investment officer at Commonwealth Financial Network, wrote in a blog post on Monday that banks, as a whole, are likely to cut back on their lending activity and risk until they get their houses in order, which will be... Uh, which will but which will by default slow economic expansion and pull the markets down. In some respects, this is good. It is what the Fed has been aiming for, but it makes a recession much more likely, quite possibly in the short term. It remains possible that the worst of a recession would avoid the third quarter. Uh, when the following year's Social Security COLA is determined. So that's what we just talked about, right? So depending on when this happens, right? Maybe it only affects one of those three months. Maybe it affects on one side or the other. Um, or maybe it misses those three months that are used for calculation completely. But it does state that uh, all signs are currently pointing toward a much lower COLA raise in 2024. And again, I don't know why he keeps using the word raise. Um, you know, and, and I'm guilty of it too, right? And we see it on, on uh, YouTube uh, as well about a raise, uh, but it's an adjustment, right? It's adjusting for inflation. So really it's keeping you par instead of going backwards. So in any case, um, let's see. The last thing here is 2023's 8.7% COLA uh, raised the average monthly retiree benefit from about $144. That doesn't seem right retiree benefit because what what they wrote here is uh, the 8.7 raised the uh, average monthly retiree benefit by about oh by about 144 dollars to 1800 the cola raise was 5.9 percent in 2022 and 1.3 percent in 2021 so again to put it in perspective 2021 1.3 percent 2022 5.9 and then Last year's was 8.7, and then what's this following year going to be? The bottom line out of this entire article is that uh, recession is looming. Don't know when it's going to really fully impact, and you have a window of three months of which uh, the data is used to calculate COLA. So right now, it's it's you know, does it get, is it going to get pushed off the the major portion of a recession? Is it going to get pushed past that uh, September uh, deadline or last month of the three months? Uh, or is it going to fall smack in the middle of it all? Um, we'll find out. So with that, just want to keep everybody up to date with, uh, with the numbers and uh, information on what's going on uh, with regard to CPI as it's an indicator of where we're going to be heading 
and what's going, what kind of effects are going to uh, be as a result of it, uh, specifically in COLA. So with that, thanks so much. And remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.